So I'm, I've always been a teacher at heart and practiced four days a week, taught one day at the dental school kind of thing for 11 years, my first 11 years out of school. And I loved teaching and like crazy story. My then associate who became my partner lost his wife at 27. So nutsy story, like don't want to get, dive down the rabbit hole. Thank God life turned out okay. But I'm um, super sad. I go to my chairman. I'm like, hey, I need a leave of absence. And he's like, it's mid semester. I can't give you a leave of absence. So I took my keys out and handed him my keys and said, some things are more important. Like this guy needs to want to wake up tomorrow. I need to work an extra two days a week so he can stay home. And short story, like we rallied as a team for seven months, um, which was the best thing we've ever done together as a team. And and I missed teaching, so I wanted to teach and I never wanted to be put in a situation again where somebody had kind of that thumb over the top of me and, and thought, well, let me start working with some students that I know in Buffalo. And we went from lunch for four to dinner for 300 after about a semester. And then those students knew more students. And here we are, we got like a little north of 43,000 dental students and young dentists that we mentor and educate and, and basically help them get where they want to go in dentistry. I mean, you, you know, all the time, I, I love social media, but everybody has an agenda. Everybody's trying to push somebody where it helps them most. And, you know, I always felt like our job at Ignite DDS was tell me where you want to go. I'm going to give you the strengths, the weaknesses. And if you still want to go there, then I'm going to show you the recipe. And if one day you wake up and you want to switch gears and we'll show you a different recipe because there's lots of ways to win in dentistry. Now, is this for dentists right out of school? Is it for dentists in all stages of their career? How do you, uh, what's your, um, you know, your student population? Sure. So, you know, we, we tend to meet literal dental students the day they walk into school. Um, they get introduced from other dental students. We work most, I would say, with young dentists up to maybe 10 years out. Now, we do have our dentists who've been doing this 15, 20, 25 years. I, 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 I don't really coach consult very much. I usually work with one to three practices per year. So I've, I'm working with a practice now that pops in my head out of New Orleans. Dentist has been doing this 28 years. But I, you know, I don't do that a lot. I, I do it more for... Um, kind of like an incubator to show that in different regions of the country, that same processes work. And then I bring those lessons to young dentists and students and say like, hey, it doesn't matter where you are, rural, urban, suburban, you're 25 or 65, like this, these things work. And then obviously geographically, there's some nuances, but these systems work. Like do go out there and do this. And you know, like from your implant stuff, right? Like, you know, what works and you know all the things everybody else tries to do that just gets them on that hamster wheel. And I think our job collectively is just help get people off that hamster wheel. 